true love. We all human beings are looking for true love. Uh, for us to find true love, we need to understand what love is made up of. And for us to understand that, we're going to give you three steps to finding true love. And for those people who are single and who are in a relationship, that's okay. Maybe there's going to be some keywords here that might enhance your lifestyle or love lifestyle. So it's okay to be single. Just don't put too much pressure on yourself that you have to find someone. So this is for the people who are looking for true love. For us to start this journey and for us to understand the first step, we need to be healed. And that is what we're going to cover today. Very often as we grow older, we experience love as we get our hearts broken over and over again. We start to resent love. We start to be fearful of love. We start to close a lot of doors and put up lots of walls, making it hard for us to receive true love. And what happens if broken heart person walking around with a broken heart, you will feel like you haven't forgiven the ones who hurt you in the past. The only people that will show up in your life are will be disguised healers that show up and pretend to be the one or the one that you think is the one. But in reality, they're there just there to heal you. Try to at least heal you. Or people who are there reflecting, reflection of your subconscious mind. So I feel like, say, if all women or men are cheaters because in the past you've been cheated on, well, guess what? The people that show up in your life will be cheaters because that's what your subconscious mind will be attracting, right? So it's very important to be healed and before you even start even thinking of looking for true love. You need to come back and re-watch this segment again to understand this uh, is very complex because we do allow people into our lives but we don't realize because of life is so busy, because of work, uh, family, we forget about our own relationships and we treat it like we're in a relationship but we may be just with somebody who's just healing us and that is a very powerful uh, note to be taking so take action now um, I will never work in a relationship I don't think anybody should work in a relationship if you're working in a relationship something is not clicking something is not right is that right you get that but if you bring your best and the person you're with brings their best and you celebrate your life together, then there's constructive interference, there's growth, there's positive energy and you grow together. Well, let's start taking action. Start today. Your first step is to be healed. So let's forgive everyone and everybody you've ever been in contact with from your past, uh, current present forgive everybody from your heart naturally be the bigger person and forgive everybody and again turn all the negative thoughts in your mind into positive thoughts and I'm pretty much sure uh, even if a partner has broken your heart in the past there's got to be enough content or memories which can turn a negative into positive there's got to be enough positives there to make you think of and focus on positives so it's easier for you to let go of the negative time you had together there was one powerful book that changed my life was unlimited power and i will leave a link of that down below because it's a free audible trial if you click on that link and check it out but first step be healed and follow these steps you can heal yourself and find true love and step two on the next video right here thank you for watching